This Pyrex mixing set is in high demand. I sold it for over a hundred dollars. This is the um, Pyrex primary colors mixing bowl set. This box, it was it was sort of a problematic to ship because these are very, very heavy. This is probably about at least 15 pounds. And that might cost about $70 to ship if I didn't use a flat rate box. The flat rate boxes are free from USPS, but the sizes are limited. This one is the large flat rate box, which is 12 by 12 by 5 and a half. They also have another large mailing box, which is just a little bit bigger than this one. I would have preferred to use that one, but that one is not flat rate. So this is going to have to work. I don't want to pay $70 to ship this. I sold this for about $110. And if I could fit everything into this box, it will cost me under $20 to ship. There's not much room left here. You can see that um, I don't have a lot of room. So... I'm gonna, I had to get creative. <laughs> I did put a different piece of cardboard here at the bottom just to make the bottom stronger since these are very heavy bowls. You can see how thick they are. And they are very handy, very useful, and they last for a long time because they're such good quality. On the bottom, I taped this foam piece to it, and it just happened to fit it perfectly. I usually save these types of packing items. I got in another boxed item. I save them because they come in handy. So this actually exactly fits in here. This is kind of a good thing because you definitely don't want this item to move. Even with this type of action, it could actually really break the bowls. I got these pieces ready. Either cut them out from... I got these pieces ready. They're already cut. And it's going to fit. And we're going to nestle them into these bowls like this. The corners, I could trim them, but I'm just going to leave them there because I think it will help sort of hold everything into place. To solve the problem of this bowl shifting, because there's that space, not much space, but that's not a good thing when it's glass and it's heavy. I got these pool floaties for 99 cents. Got them at the 99 cent store. And it's good to cut them like pretty long. Cut these into like five inch pieces. I did actually cut smaller ones, but these were not as good. So for these, you want to tuck them into the bowl. Like this. 
you want to tuck them into the bowl. Make sure that it's secure and they're evenly spaced. Seat the bowl into the box and keep these at the corners. Like it just, it's actually cutting it very close. So hopefully it works. I cut out some foam pieces ready to use, but it actually made it too high. And I also am unable to use bubble wrap because there's not enough room in the box. The next bowl is this one. And there's actually quite a bit of space here. To insulate the layers, I cut pieces of cardboard. work better like this. I'm going to do the same for each bowl. If it breaks, I'm going to have to refund the customer over a hundred and ten dollars. So hopefully this works. So this is the next color. You just kind of press them down. So this doesn't quite close, but we're going to make it work. I fold these inward and the rest out. out. So it doesn't doesn't really get a chance to move and that's what you want. Usually it's good to try to double box something like this. Guess I could still put these pieces in here like this. what the first bowl that's going in looks like. This is the best we can do because this is the biggest box that is flat rate shipping. Tuck this in here. to make
make this as snug as possible. So that sort of fits. But this is going to have to work because shipping is under $20. So I have this here, hopefully this will ship safely, put a layer of medium sized bubble wrap, can't really add any more to this because this is already too high. Yeah, this will work. 